What's up guys, welcome back to BME's channel and today we will be going into particles. So like and subscribe and make sure to watch other videos that I've created because they will help you when you're creating Blender objects. So I'm going to start in with this cube. Um, and if we go down to this particle properties, we can see we have the cube up here. But there isn't anything in this area, so I'm just going to add... And there's an emitter or hair and I'm going to be using hair because it's very easy to use and this is going to be a quick tutorial on the hair area. And now you can see that they're all in different areas of the cube. Now if we delete this cube and add in a sphere and add it, you can see there's a small circle here but that's just an emitter and you can see with the hair that it's all around um other on each little area of the sphere but on the cube it didn't go on the corners so today we'll be using a sphere and you can see that the hair length is pretty high so what i'm going to be doing is just making it pretty small i'll make it to about uh, one meter so it's sort of like a fluffy ball uh, sort of sphere and I'm just going to make the number slightly smaller I'm going to change it to about 50 and there aren't a lot of them but we can um, change that in a second if we go into children and let's go for interval or symbol Simple, you'll sort of clump them together, but this is more spread out. So I'm just going to change this to about 50. And I'm going to change the render view to about 50 because you probably want them the same. Um, or maybe the display is slightly smaller than the render. But make sure you don't have it on 100 because your computer may get um, very slow or start to struggle. Um, we can say the length like that, or we can change it a bit i'm just going to leave it there um and you can click on clumping and sort of clump them together at the end and that looks so cool but i'm not going to use that i'm just going to leave it like that you can also push them away from clumping that looks so cool but i'm just going to leave them at 0.4 because I want it to slightly clump, but not too much. In fact, I'm going to clump it less a bit. And you can change the shape. I'm just going to leave it in the middle. Um, next, we'll be going into... Well, we can use roughness, but it's it won't change that much. Since we're not really going into much detail. If we add a new material, we can change the colour. If we go on to uh, viewport shading or material preview, it, do, if you don't have these top view because you're not really using the whole screen or you're half using the blender and half on a YouTube video or something like that, then you can just click Z and you'll get rendered solid wireframe and material preview. I'm going to go on material preview and you can see that it's green all of its green so if we just add a new material and change it to about let's say blue um you can see nothing's really changing and we'll have a go at that in a minute so get up to this stage and i'll see you then so one way we could change um the color is if we add new i deleted the previous one um if we add an image texture and then we just open. Let's go into this. You can see there's a random pattern. And these are just some patterns I've previously gotten. And um, we can go into texture paint and just change the colour. And there's a bit of white there and different colours in the hair. I'm also going to go into particle edit to show you something quickly. See particle edit, we can move the particles around and if we just go into object mode now, all the particles will be where we left them. 
and we have these small lines and not all of them because we've these are the parents and the children or the child um, that we created earlier um, they're just following what the parents do so say we lengthen these at the top and then we just cut all the bottom and if we go back into object mode these will be all cut and these will be really really grown so if we just we can put weight on them as well so that um, they're heavier or lighter and that's pretty easy to do we can also add down the bottom there will be parents for um, these as well so there's a lot more hair everywhere and it looks really fluffy <laughs> so if we go back into particle edit and we just add a few more around here then we can sort of change it and give it a hairstyle <laughs> so if we just cut these top few then go on the x axis we could go in and out which is um just random but we can make these go down and if you wanted to add a face you could just cut all of these in the at the top and just have some hair here and then if we go into object mode then it's all cut around here but not all of it has been so if we go into particle edit just cut a few more around it and then that should be good so get to that point and i'll see you in a minute so i've deleted the last one and i've gone on to this new sphere um i'm going to show you how to change the skin area and the hair so i'm going to do it a quick way oh that's particle settings i'm going to do it just a quick way we have two materials here i'm going to change this material to blue um then if i you can see that this is blue but on yours it would probably be the first one up there so you can go into edit mode click a to select all go on this material then click assign you could do the same for yellow assign if you deselect or um, select then you can select any with the material property of this color so I'm going to assign this here then go back into object mode then if I go into particle edit and add a particle then change it to hair I've got all yellow hair and if I just add some hair here you can sort of see it's all yellow and you can see the purple or blue inside this looks yellow and it probably is because we haven't selected it all so we can just hide all of this and you can see there's yellow so if we just tab into that and click A so all of it is actually selected then we just assign go back into tab then go into particle edit and allow these back on we'll see it's still yellow um, I'm really liking the yellow colour but you can see straight into the skin if you zoom in a bit and that's not what I'm liking so I'm just going to go into particle edit again and I'm going to cut a bit across over here because I want this to look fluffy and dangly but still okay that looks so bad but um but still look sort of um sweet and child like so I'm going to just cut a few bits off to make it look um sort of raggly um and I'm just gonna puff these up And then I'm going to lengthen a few. Um, and then I'm not going to add, I'm going to smooth these out. As for your next few models or your next ideas, there will be a new video coming out about creating a castle um, or some sort of defence and a house inside. So 
make sure to stay around like and subscribe this video and let's try and get this one to 10 likes and then i'll post the defense and the castle video there will be more than one part for that because it's very large and the videos will go into a lot of detail about how to create stuff but um make sure to stick around for them and i'll see you next time